That's awesome! What's up, guys? It's King Daddy D Mac, and welcome, welcome back to another episode of Minecraft. That's right, we're playing here with FTB Ultimate, baby, and man, are we having fun. Seriously, bro, seriously, so much fun. Oh my goodness, where should we start off? Um, Last episode, we set up a whole bunch of tanks, I believe. Yes, yes, that's right. Man, look at all that UU mattered so much since last episode. By the way, I hope you guys had an awesome Halloween if you celebrate it. My goodness. um, We set up a whole bunch of these tanks. Let's Let's find our way down there. Yeah, and look at them now, come this episode. They are getting so very full. I've got this tank completely filled with mercury. This tank completely filled with mercury. It's nuts. I even have my, what is it again? Deuterium? Something like that. Almost filled. Ridiculous. And then I even got some other stuff over here, which we're going to be playing around with today. And that is Monster Essence. This is... Almost like liquid XP, I guess you could think of it. Kind of, although I think there is a liquid XP that's a little different. But yeah, not bad. We have one tank full, two tanks full, three tanks full of monster essence. It's pretty ridiculous. And I'm going to show you some of the stuff that we can do with it. Um, And I think it should be pretty fun. We also went into, oh, wait, 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 wait. Hold on, I put in a whole bunch more solar panels. Let's put our helmet back on. Whole bunch more of them. I just want to see how we're doing. I think we were, even as of last episode, completely filled up doing the 8192 on all of our matter fabricators. Remember, this is what makes our UU matter. The UU matter, you know, the little jelly bean things. You can turn those into just about anything, or at least a lot of good stuff. Stuff that we care about, like iridium mostly. I think it is time we put in our fourth and probably final matter fabricator. And, oh, nope. Boom. How you doing, bro? Yep, look at it light up. Awesome. And like I said, I put in a lot more solar panels. Is this one going to be doing... Look at that, 8192, all of them, even with four of them. That is so much power that this takes. But we got it, man. We got it. Oh, and it looks so nice, too, once they're all set and done. Just look at that. It's beautiful. Oh, it's so very cool. Um. Anyway, where was I? Um. Yes, uh, we went into the Twilight Forest for the very first time last episode, and we had a little bit of a mishap. We took on the Lich. Um, I, it was definitely me being a dummy. I just didn't eat, but it it brought me to the fact that we have to be a little bit like more careful. Because in this mod pack, there's no gravestones. There's no anything like that. If you die, you're, all your stuff, it just falls to the ground. And there's a good chance it could despawn or, you know, who knows what. So, uh, yeah, I think I'd like to go and try and set up something so we can get uh, Charms of Keeping. Those are a special item from the Twilight Forest mod, and they allow you to, if you die, keep everything in your inventory, as long as you're holding one upon your death. So, I think we should go check that out. Now, in the Twilight Forest, um, let's just go recharge our... Uh, or shenanigans. Oh, you know what? Before that, let me just show you how I was getting the mo uh, monster essence. Get all charged up. Boom. Beautiful. All right. Let's head over into the void world. Yeah. So I actually had to turn it off because as you see, I had three full tanks of it. That's a lot. But what I did is I just switched out the void pipe um, over in this blaze farm. And when we want to put it back on, I can just throw a Tesseract up here. Right now, it's back to the, the void waterproof pipe. But throw the Tesseract there, and it just pumps into the tanks wirelessly. So pretty dang cool. By the way, how's the farm doing? Man, we probably have so many resources now. It's ridiculous. Oh, and did I tell you? I finally got melons. Yes, I found it in the chest. So I've got everything planted over here. Now, pumpkins and melons. We got our cocoa beans going. 
It is amazing. I totally love it. And look at our solar panels. I think I counted them. I can't remember now. It was like 50 in the like mid 50s, maybe even high 50s. It's ridiculous um, to stay in the same chunk, which it doesn't matter, but I'm, I'm trying to. We can do three more there, three more there, three more there. No, maybe even four more there. Or six more there, three more there, and then one in the middle. But man, this is pretty soon we're going to be able to probably unplug all of our boilers, if not already. But yeah, pretty redunculous. All right, let's head back to the overworld. So the mob essence, that's how we got it. I did set up uh, one kind of fun thing. Um, I was over, I was doing a ton of mining with the, uh, the JJ and uh, yeah, bad thing happened. Um, I don't know if this always happens. I can't, I thought that with the power tools, once it got no power, it would, you know, it just would work slower. Like how the drills do. Well, apparently with the JJ, if you get all the way to no power, um, it can break. Yeah. <laughs> so it broke. And this is, of course, we have the silk touch enchantment. Well, I don't know if you guys know, but getting silk touch on a book takes forever. Absolutely forever. So I went, I broke down, I made these things auto enchanters and right now they're shut off, but, um, they're pretty cool. Uh, you just put a book in them, you tell it what level you want it to enchant at, and the big thing is it takes monster essence. It's not super fast or anything. Like you can see, it takes a while. So this is something that, you know, I AFK'd online, but we have the AE system. It pumps in a book. Once the book's enchanted, it moves there. It pulls right out. You know, nothing, nothing too crazy. We got a liquid tesseract that pumps over the, uh, the liquid mob essence. But yeah, because of that, now look, let's see, look at how many enchantments I have. So many. And I think in here, let's see, I think it was near the bottom last time I looked. Oh, there we go. Silk Touch. I got five more Silk Touch books. Oh, man, it is so good. It is so good. But yeah, it takes a while. I'm just going to shut it off because I don't need any more enchantments. Not for a while. Other things we can use the mob essence for, though. Um, we can use them in, let's see here, the auto spawner. Yup. So let's go ahead and craft one. Awesome. And let's take a look at it. So really not that expensive. It does cost emeralds, but you know, at this point in the game, emeralds ain't no thing. Nether wart sugar. And this is also from mine factory reloaded. And remember how we had all those, uh, safari balls. Let me see where I'll have this bag of them. Yeah, these things. Remember the Pokeball looking things where you can just walk up, right click on a mob. Well, this is what they're used for. Um, we go ahead, put it in there. We got a pump in mob essence power and uh, it can either do an exact copy or, you know, for more power in essence or just, you know, spawn the thing. Now, when it says exact copy, what's neat about that is you can like bring a mob down till it's like almost dead and then do it, say exact copy. And, you know, it would like always be a one hit kill or something if you were to punch it. So pretty cool. Or if there's like, you know, various things like a villager where you want the exact same type of villager. So anyway, pretty gosh darn neat. We are going to be playing with that today. Let me see. Why don't we throw all this stuff in here? Because I don't want to take it all with me. Um, we're going to be going out and I'd like to catch all sorts of shenanigans over in the twilight forest, including, um, a special type of slime, which is called, I think it's called maze slime. And those I believe have a rare drop of the charm of keeping. So that would be perfect. Anyway, let's find our twilight forest book. Yes, right by our portal. Perfect. Oh, um, let's go back to the overworld again. I would like to make a couple of books just in case something happens bad and we need to get out quickly. All right, perfect. So let's go on a little adventure over there. I think that would be pretty cool. We can try and catch a maze slime and, you know, who knows what else. And then we can play around with them, making a spawner. So I think it sounds like an epic plan. What do you think, guys? All right, I'll meet you in the Twilight Forest.
All right, guys, in the twilight forest and uh, yeah, oop, sorry about that. Let's go see what we can find. So there's all sorts of crazy different animals and creatures in here and even like the sheep. Look at them. They're called big horns. I think it's pretty cool. So um, I do want to play a little game or at least like have like a little mission objective where I would like... I would really like to try and catch every single type of creature there is um, in the Twilight Forest and in, in, you know, the overworld too, but, you know, in the Twilight Forest and uh, so that we can set up spawners for all of them. And then maybe I know in the past, a uh, long time ago, years ago, one thing I always like to do is make like a zoo, which I think would be really cool, you know, ultimately. Ultimately, you know, it's a it's a long term goal, not a one day type of thing. So I think that sounds pretty cool. Um, look, at, look at the little bird and there's even little bunny rabbits. They're so cute. I love the Twilight Forest. Look at the deer. It's Bambi. Wild deer. Um, There's even squirrels in here, too. Somewhere around here. Yeah, there's a lot of cool stuff. Um, and then, of course, there's. Also, all sorts. There's tons of different mob things. Let's see. What do we got in here? And spawners. Look at the, it's. I think it's called a druid, maybe. I don't know. I don't know what's going on with him. What do we got in here? Now, some of this, of course, you know, being on a server, uh, you know, sometimes stuff's already looted. But for the most part, you know, this this generates forever. So we'll be able to find all sorts of cool stuff. Anyway, um, today, the important thing that we need to come across, look at the little birdie. Um, the important thing we have to come across is uh, um, one of the mazes, which I think this is right here. Yes, it is, because I set up an overworld book to get in and out and check it out. Oh, my goodness. I'm so excited. So we do have to worry about our energy level. And because we have... Uh, this tool right here we can actually kind of uh, be cheaty like super cheaty in these mazes because like let me show you traditionally let's get out our uh, normal drill let me show you oh by the way switch over potatoes to eat yeah a little bit better look at how long it takes to mine one of these blocks it's it's like mining obsidian basically so yeah being able to have the in Huh? All right. Anyway, I don't know why it's not full charge right now. But anyway, um, being able to insta mine this, we're going to be able to, you know, be pretty gosh darn cheaty in it. So anyway, uh, in particular, what we're looking for is a maze slime. So we'll probably come across one in here. Might as well grab out. Oh, oh, oh grab out of the chests any loot that we get which is pretty cool we do have the chance of getting the uh the things that i'm looking for what are they called again the charms of keeping it is possible to get them in there so that's pretty cool too anyway let's throw all this stuff away that we don't need so it doesn't bog us down all right and we might as well uh try and grab all the different creatures in here too so yeah i'm just trying to oh man I wish these safari balls would stack. It's super annoying that they don't, but hey, it is what it is. All right, so, ooh, is this down to the second floor already? All right, let's let's go loot a couple of these things. Some of them have the uh, the TNT, some of them don't. And as long as we disactivate it ahead of time, no problems. Ooh, see, charm of keeping, beautiful. Exactly what we wanted. All right, very cool. So, oh, I hear, I hear slime. Is it up here or is it down the, down somewhere? All right, I don't hear it anymore. Oh, did you see that thing off in the distance? What the crap are you? Look at this guy. Oh, dude, it's so weird. All right, let's grab him. Look at that. It's a, some type of twilight forest beetle. All right, we can throw all this stuff back in the inventory. Boom, 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 boom. I just got to be careful. I don't like by mistake, click the wrong thing. All right. So we got one thing. I still haven't got the slime though. The slime is what we want. All right. Ooh, another thing. 
Look at you! Oh my goodness, what the crap? Dude! Look at this guy! He's nuts, he picked me up! Are you trying to give me a ride? A pinch beetle! Get out of your pinch beetle! Leave me alone! Alright, can we get him? Got you, pinch beetle! Alright, cool. Got a pinch beetle! Alright, moving up in the world. Ooh, you hear those guys? Think there's a cow behind here? Uh, I hear you, cow. Come out. Come here, cow. Oh, I saw a creeper. Oh, my goodness. You see anything? I don't see anything. We do want to go down to the second floor. Ooh, look at this room. It's all so... It's full of tons of chests. All right, let's make sure... Oh, look at them sneakies trying to get you to blow it up. All right. Get all that cleared out. Oh, look at this guy. It's the Minotaur. Dude. He's so cool. Hey, little Moo Moo. Oh, dude. Dude. I'm your friend. Look at him. What the crap? Oh, my goodness. All right, let's grab that guy, too. I guess he's who was mooing. And it looks like there is a spawner for him, too, in here. Look at the Moo Moo spawner. Oh, man. So anyway, these are really cool rare blocks, too. So other stuff that we can go ahead and grab anyway. Jeez, I'm going to have to be dumping out my inventory constantly if I'm going to be going through all those chests. All right. Anyway, um, let's stop wasting our time with all this looting. We can come back and do that later. We got to find the slime. And then there's a special sort of like end boss, just like the lich was the end boss of that one place. Uh Oh, oh, get out of your pinch beetles. Twilight Hunter. Oh, those are something else. I think there were fire beetles. All right. Where was that one room? Man, I got lost already. We already found it. Crap. Ooh, I'm out of torches. That's not good. Oh, uh, no. Get out of here, turd nugget. All right. Come on. Let's just follow the torches back. You know what? Let's go back up. I should grab a whole bunch more torches. Let me do that really quickly. All right, we're back. We're back. And I'm wasting way too much time exploring this maze, but I'm, I don't know. I'm having fun. Um, all right, so let's fall. Oh, the pinch guys. Get out of here. Jeez, these moo moos, man. Jeez. They got so much health. Get out of here, little pinch guy. All right, we didn't go in that room. I swear. Did I see this water thing and think the water was down to the next level? Holds on a moment. Okay, we saw the water thing. That's how we got in. Was it this way, maybe? Where is it? We got to find the pathway down. And I still have not seen a single slime. Anyway, I got a ton more torches. I swear I thought I saw the thing to go down before. All right, running through. Still no slime. Fortunately, not too many baddies in here. All right. Where the crap is it? All right, there might be... There's probably more than one way there. Hopefully. All right, more of these little turds. Get out of here. We can just kind of ignore most things. They're not going to hurt us too bad. All right, we're on the other side of that room. You can also use the mini map to kind of be cheaty in here to see like the way the maze goes. Yeah, we're kind of in the corner right now. Dead end. Dead end. Come on. All right. So I would... I don't know. I don't think it's always in the center to go uh, down to the next level. But we can always use our tool to just kind of get through the walls and find our way. Sometimes that's easier. So we don't get lost. I can just go like this. All right. We don't want to use too much of my power, though. Ooh. All right. No, but nothing. Not playing the fairway, bro. I just want to get to the next level, find my slime, and get out of here. All right, we've already done all there. Ooh. 
Ooh, look at the Momo! Come here, Momo! Oh! Alright, another Moomoo -moo room. We're gonna skip that for now. Alright, light up. It's always good to light up so I know where I've been and where I haven't been. Alright. Just the other side of that room. Oop, creeper! Alright, what's going on over there, over there? Oh, look at it, look at it! It's the slime, finally! All right, let's throw down some torches. All right, look at a maze slime, nice! Ooh, and it's the it's the fire beetle, let's grab him. I think I have my uh, particles turned off right now, so I'm guessing that's why we couldn't see the fire. I don't know. Now the maze slime are also special because they I think they split more than a normal slime. So if you're trying to get the mob essence from a single creature, um, they're one of the best ways to get it if you don't want to use soul shards. All right, can we find where is the thing down to the next level? Now you can't cheat to go down because, see, it goes to bedrock there. So you got to find the spot. Come on. Oh man, are we ever going to find it? All right, let's see. Go this way. Ooh! Get out of here. All right, not there, not there. We're gonna find it, guys. I'm convinced. Yeah, here it is. All right, so here's the cage to go down to the next level. All right, perfect. Let's just clear out our inventories real quick. Boom, we can throw those guys back. Let's get this out. Um, I want to just try and capture the final boss that's in here. So I think it would be, you know, it would be kind of fun. All right, so down to the next maze. Now in here, there's a huge treasure room too. Oh, is this already? The main boss. Ooh, you scared me, bro. You scared me. All right, we got a room there. That's how to, ooh, watch out for them cave spiders. Probably called like maze spiders in here. Let's see, what would the final room look like? I'm trying to look at my mini map. Maybe up here it looks like something interesting. Right. Ooh, look at them all. Get out of here. Holy crap, that's a lot of them spiders. Get, get. All right, oh my goodness, is there a spawner or something? Jeez, and a creeper too. All right, let's light up. All right, this, loom, this room over here looked interesting. Get out of here. What is in this room? Oh, I think the, is the boss in here? Why is there a cage here? Oh, look at that guy. All right, what's over here? Is it just the hallway? Oh, you got me, even though I was flying, you jerk. All right, get the spiders. Oh my goodness. Go away, everybody. Go away. Holy crud. Get away from them. All right, it might take me a hot second to find it. So why don't I go hunt through the maze? Oh, wait, wait, wait. I think this is it. I think this is it. Yeah, look at that boss. Oh man, it is so cool. All right, let's just get all these slimes out of the way. Go away, slimes. Leave me alone. I want to check him out. Look at this guy. What are you called? Hold on. What are you called? Is the minnow shroom. Can we pick him up? Yes, I got a minnow shroom. That is awesome. Holy, I can't believe it. And we got all sorts of chests here. Let's just make sure there's no shenanigans. All right, and what do we get? Another charm of keeping. Uh, the special steel leaf armor. Another charm of keeping, very cool. All right, not bad, not bad. All right, well. There's a lot more stuff in the maze, but for our purposes for today, I 
think that is about all we need. We got our slime. We got our, uh, what's he called again? Our minnow shroom. <laughs> so funny. All right. Very cool. Very cool. And of course, I'll probably want to come back here and either quarry or manually gather these blocks because they are so cool. I mean, look at these. I don't think you can craft them. Yeah, no recipe. All right. Very good, guys. Very good. Uh, let me see. How the crap are we going to get out of here now? Oh, I can use one of those books that I made. Perfect. Overworld. We'll grab a lectern so it can stay here. Let's see. And I don't need to come directly back to this room. It's not that important. So I can... Oh, move, you dummy. Awesome. Because I do have a book that goes to the beginning. Very cool. All right. So we've got our auto spawner. We've got our safari balls. Very cool. Um, Let me just get things situated and let's see if we can make some awesome mob farms. All right, guys. Got everything all set up or mostly set up. We can set the rest up together quickly. We're going to do because this isn't going to be like a permanent thing that we keep in. Um, We're going to just do it right here at the base instead of in an alternate world because you know we don't need like infinite mob drops from this just enough so let's hop on in here um i've got a new signal saying uh for redstone signal for getting power from an energy test rack so we can turn the spawner on and off then this one i have getting mob essence so pretty cool um Toss this right in here and we should be able to see, look at the mob essence fills all the way up. And as soon as we flip a lever, it will start the power. So what do we want to do? We have the minnow shroom. We have the fire beetle. We have the maze slime. We have the normal minotaur. We have the slime beetle and we have the pinch beetle. So I wonder what each of these gives is drops. Um, we'll save these two for last. Let's go ahead. Let's try the fire beetle first. I'm just, I'm curious. I'm curious what we're going to actually get from it. So let's go ahead over in here. We can flip the switch and look at that fire beetles. Awesome. So do they actually drop anything? This I don't know. Let's turn off our coin. Let's hop on down and take a look if we're actually getting anything from it. Oh, they are. They are. What are they dropping? It looks like gunpowder. That's pretty cool. Yeah, that would make sense. Gunpowder. Um, where's... Let me go ahead and do this. So, I'm going to set this chest down. So that instead of it sending it into our system, it gives it... It lets us look at it. So, let's pop this out real quick. And throw that there. Okay. Awesome. And yeah, just gunpowder. All right. So we have an alternative way of getting gunpowder. That's pretty cool. Um, let's go pop back up to the top and let's switch it out and put it to something else. Let's see. Oh, wrong room. And we should have plenty of essence in our farm already. So we don't got to worry about it. All right. Let's switch it off. That's pretty neat. All right. You guys done spawn? Oh, we got to wait till the power runs out. Did the power run out? All right. It's down enough that it can't go. All right. So that was the beetle. Next, pinch beetle. All right. Let's see what a pinch beetle gives. I have no idea. And look at them. Okay. So they're actually surviving, I think. Maybe not all of them. Some of them are surviving. Let's see what the pinch beetle gives. What do you think? I have no clue. Do we see anything coming out? Oh, you know what? Where I have this chest going, it's only getting things that are coming from the grinder. Ew. Okay. Uh, we're going to have to hop underneath and just look. I'm actually not seeing them drop anything. Interesting. All right. So it doesn't look like you get anything good from them. 
They might have like some sort of rare drop, but I don't know. All right, pinch beetle, waste of time. Let's go do the next one. All right, next up. Let's turn you off. All right, just a few more will spawn in. Awesome. I wonder if they can grab me like in midair. That would be kind of mean. Those things are nasty. All right, so we did the fire beetle, those uh, slime beetle. Why not? Let's try it. I would assume slime balls. All right, let's pop back down and look. Boom. And yeah, it looks like slime balls. Now again, some of these guys might have the possibility of a rare drop. But usually when they die to fall damage, you don't get rare drops. Usually. All right, slime balls, slime beetle, makes sense. All right, next one. I'm saving the best ones for last. All right, so slime beetle, why don't we do the minotaur next? I have a feeling the minotaur is going to give us some stuff that we definitely want and need. Probably the same as like a cow farm. All right, minotaur. Let's find out. So I'm guessing just hide and meet. Now, these guys have a bit more uh, health. So I'm guessing, are they dying to fall damage? Oh, it looks like they mostly are. All right, so we're getting meats. And it's looking like that's it. I would guess though we'd probably get hide too. I'm surprised they're dying. I thought they had like more health than most things. Let's see. Let's go look in our, our bag. Ooh, okay. We got, we're got we getting a special uh, golden axe from some of them. And mostly uh, raw meef. Look at that. It's not called beef. It's called meef. Because it's from a minotaur. Oh, that's funny. That is super silly. Meef. I wonder what happened. Let's take some of that meef. I wonder what happens when we cook it up. Do you think it becomes, uh, I don't know, cooked meat, probably. All right, uh, getting stuck, getting stuck. All right, next, let's go do, um, I guess we'll do the slimes last, because I'm going to let them run for a while. All right, come on, guys. All right, the minnow shroom is next. This one should be pretty cool. All right, minnow shroom. Is it minnow or mino shroom? I don't know. All right, do you think it'll even work? I would assume if you could put it in the ball. Yeah, look at that. Oh man, dude, and they're actually dying to fall damage, most of them too. It's kind of crazy. Let's, let's watch them. That's awesome. Wow! Alright, let's see what they drop. Oh, they're giving, uh, soups? Is that all they give? Whoa! Filling me up a, a bit, bro! Holy crap! Um... Uh, what to do here? Oh my goodness, um... We'll get this... Uh, oh, why doesn't that stack? There we go. Jeez! Look at Meef Stroganoff. That's hilarious. It's so annoying that it doesn't stack, though. Holy crud. And we're getting these uh, Minotaur Axe. Extra damage, unbreaking two. We're getting a ton of them. That's supposed to be, like, special boss loot only. Holy! All right, give me a second to, like, clear out my inventory. All right, guys, I uh, got everything cleaned up. Uh, yeah, pretty OP farm you can do here. Pretty cheaty, because again, this is supposed to be like a boss and, you know, it takes a long time just to get one of them. Ooh, that guy just hit me through the glass. That's so crazy. Um, anyway, oop, more stroganoff. Any more down here? All right, I think we got all of it. 
let's head back up. Let's turn off the thing. I think we have all we need. All right, and we'll give him a second to uh, to finish off before we do the slime. But uh, yeah, we get this Meef Stroganoff, which I assume is like, I don't know, I can't eat it right now. I assume it's like a really good food. And then we get the Minotaur Axe, which it looks extra cool here. Here it kind of looks like a normal axe. I don't know. But it gives, uh, it's called extra charging. I get, I'm, I'm wearing like good boots with haste. Okay, so it makes you run really quickly. That's actually pretty cool. Like faster than you'd normally be able to run. So that's kind of a neat ability, I do have to admit. Um, again, we have haste on our boots. Actually, hold on, let me put this away. Yeah, we can already run. I mean, plus we have our really good... Uh, gear but you know it's a cool tool we'll have to see uh if we can like grind it up or something dude imagine that if we can get like diamonds and stuff from it let's just see what it says use anything we might be able to use an uncrafting table we don't own one of those personally but um yeah we'll have to check it out um it is interesting though they don't always get the same enchantment they always have the extra charge damage but they don't always have, like this has efficiency too. I saw some with fortune. I saw all sorts of stuff. Anyway, the final thing and the thing I kind of care about the most, and I hope this actually does what I think it does, is the maze slime. So hopefully, oh man, they don't even break on the first hit. All right, so they're breaking all apart. Let's go ahead, turn off our coin. So this is actually good though, because it means the grinders are gonna be mostly getting them instead of from fall damage but you can see like how much they split they split more than a normal slime so if you're not using uh soul shards which we are which you know it gives you unlimited mobs and it costs nothing otherwise this mod what it makes it hard is you got to kill mobs to get mob essence so you have to have some other type of mob farm um whereas with the slime Every time they split, they make some uh, mob juice, apparently. Like, every time one of the, the grinder makes a slime split to the smaller mobs, it counts, I guess, as a kill. So then you get a little bit of mob essence. I think that's how it works. It, or it might be just that you get from the, what it costs to spawn in one slime, you get, like, I don't know, how many different small slime from the one initial one so it end the cost of it you end up getting more mob essence out than you're putting in to do the initial spawn so yeah i think that's it i think that's it so anyway pretty cool um are we actually getting stuff from this other than slime balls so far i'm only seeing slime balls so this might not be perfect I wonder if we have to hit these guys by hand. Seeing tons of slime balls. None of the charms. So I'm just going to kind of chill here for a while and see what's up with it. It's possible some are getting by and we're just not vis visually seeing them. Oh man, but that's going to be super disappointing. If we don't get any of the charms of keeping... I mean, I guess we could, again, always go in by hand and, and get them, but... All right, I'll see you guys back in a few. All right, guys, I've let these slimes run for like, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes and no luck. No luck! They're supposed to be able to drop these charms. So I'm thinking, I bet you if I got them, if I was the one to defeat them, we'd probably get it. Let's go check this out. I set up, I, I tried it on exact copy too, just to see. That cost more. But yeah, I, you know, just checking. I know I've done this in the past and I'm pretty sure with grinders. So I'm wondering if uh, perhaps in a later version it allows you. But anyway, let's just battle a whole bunch of these maze slime. You know, in hand to hand combat. Let's see if we end up with any of the charms. Oh my goodness. 
Um, and we'll just have to fly up there. I got to pay attention to my health and my... Ooh, let's, let's have a stroganoff. Yeah, hey, it gives me uh, free balls. Ooh, let's not use the... The VJJ. Don't want to do that. All right, all right, come on. Dude, I'm going to get overwhelmed by these slime. Jeez, look at them all. All right, we're bound to get one. I'm I'm just saying, with this many slimes, holy crap. All right, let's get this turned off for a little bit. Let's pull out the thing. Holy crud, look at all them slimes. All right, doing good, doing good. Oh, dude, <laughs> they are brutal. All right, I haven't noticed if we got any. I don't know if you guys have seen. I've been too busy, like, looking at my health bar and stuff. All right. Jeez, there's so many of them. When they split, even the little ones can, I think, do some damage to you. Wow, look at them all. We need, like, a better tool that, uh, you know, does, like, better AoE damage. So we can hit more. I have to get, like, a pretty direct hit here. Look at even these little guys hitting me. All right, all right, doing good. Jeez. It feels like they're never ending. Am I even getting them? All right, come on. I mean, I'm getting XP, so. Jeezy paids. Dude, I turned off the spawner. There was a big one for that long. Look at all these little turd nuggets. You guys are, like, multiplying. Oh, my lord. All right, all right. Jeez, I need to I need to eat. Look at them all. All right, what do you think so far, guys? Do you think I got any charms? Oh, look at that. Seven of them. I had... Oh, I had one in my inventory already, so we got six, technically, from this. Dude. All right, so if we were to set up, like, a turtle farm... I would assume that would work. Otherwise, I'm trying to think in this mod pack. It, what other ways? Uh, you'd be able to get, you know, I guess it would be like, you know, trying to get like a wither skeleton skull. You know, you have to be the one or a player has to be the one to do it. I swear in later versions of the mod, the grinder's able to get that stuff. But, oh my goodness. This is a mess. All right, in either case, um, we got a couple of charms before, um, just in chests and whatnot. And this is a way that we, we are capable of grinding them out, but I'm going to have to look into how to do a turtle. I can't remember if you have to put in like some code to tell it what to do. All right, so all in all, from all that, we got a whole bunch of XP. My goodness, and eight charms of keeping. Not bad. All right, let's go run on up. Holy crud, let me get all the other charms out too that we already have. All right, guys, so all in all, we have 23 charms of keeping. Let's go ahead and do this. And that makes it charm of keeping two. So that's five of them. And then if we do this again, we have enough to do it once. We get a charm of keeping three. Beautiful, so what these do, um, I believe the charm of keeping one, I think what it does is it allows you to keep if you die. I think you keep your armor and maybe like whatever. I'm not sure if it's the first slot in your hotbar or if it's just might be the item. I think it's the item that's currently in your hand if you die. Now with the charm of keeping two, which is the silver one. So that's bronze, that's silver. You'd keep your armor if you die. And then I think your entire hotbar and then the charm of keeping three, which is this bad boy, which is four. So it's four of these equals one of these. Then four of these equals one of those. This one, I believe, lets you keep your entire inventory. So now that we have that, we can go ahead, toss those guys in. And I believe as long as we keep this in our inventory, we will always be able to, you know, if we die, we get to keep everything. So, yeah, definitely awesome definitely something we want so i guess that was a score we got at least one of them we'll have to work on actually fully automating that farm but it was fun it was definitely fun oh 
and I wanted to see if we could, uh, let's just go to the, uh, the spawn town. Because I know there is one over there. We'll have to make one ourselves. Uncrafting table. Let's just see what happens. Oh, you can't uncraft it. That's a shame. Um, I'm trying to think what else could we maybe do with it? Um, oh, these machine. Oh, they have AE on them. All right, let's go back to our base. Let's just see if we can grind it up. If it is even possible. What would happen? Um, so if we put it, does it work in a furnace? Doesn't work in a furnace. All right, let's try. One of these guys doesn't work in there. All right, so it doesn't look like you're going to be able to get anything off of it. We might be able to do something that strips the enchantment. I'm trying to, I can't think of anything else to be able to do with it, but it's still cool. It's still an awesome treasure that we have. Yeah. And then we can show off somewhere. Maybe we can have like a, a trophy room. Yeah, that would be cool. Definitely cool. All right. Anyway, guys, I think we did good today. I think we did very, very good. Um, And yeah, I think we're going to call it here. I, I definitely had fun. Yep, we got to go check out another thing in the Twilight Forest. We got to check out auto spawners. Oh my goodness, we got our fourth matter fabricator. Look at how much UU matter we have. This is ridiculous. We have so much. Oh my goodness. So I'm going to keep on making solar panels. And uh, we're going to definitely, I think the fusion reactor is in our midst. I think, I think within the next episode or few episodes, I think we'll get there. So very cool. Anyway, guys, thank you all so much for watching. It's been a pleasure. As always, show that amazing support for the series by smashing that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel or you haven't yet, please do not forget to subscribe for the Minecraft awesomeness. Anyway, guys, I'll see you again soon. Thanks for watching and peace out.